For the second Flexbox property, let's take a look at Flex Direction. The Flex Direction property establishes the main axis, which in turn determines how the flex items are placed within the container. By default, the main axis flows from top to bottom, causing the items to be displayed from top to bottom in the UI. However, by changing the value of the Flex Direction property, we can alter how the items are positioned. There are four different values that Flex Direction can accept. Let's switch back to VS Code and understand each of them. For better visualization, I will comment out boxes 4 to 7 and keep the first three boxes only. Now, let's go over the different values for Flex Direction. The first value is column, which is the default value. So on the Flex container, if I set Flex Direction column, you can see there is no change. Flex Direction with the value of column sets the main axis from top to bottom. The next allowed value is column reverse. As you might have guessed, this sets the main axis direction from bottom to top, resulting in the flex items being placed from bottom to top. If we take a look at the UI, you can see the items are now arranged in reverse order. Box 1 starts at the bottom of the container. The third alert value is row. When you set flex direction to row, the main axis flows from left to right. Consequently, the items are placed from left to right. The boxes though, seem to stretch from the top to the bottom, and we will talk about this in a different video. For now, row ensures left to right placement of boxes. Finally, we have row reverse, which positions the items from right to left. As a result, item 1 is at the right and item 3 is at the left. Now, if you're curious as to what happens when we have all 7 items, let me tell you, they simply overflow. We have the 4 boxes, but we don't see boxes 5, 6 and 7. In summary, the flex direction property sets the direction of the main axis, thereby controlling how the items are placed within the container. The possible values are column, which sets the main axis from top to bottom, column reverse for bottom to top, row for left to right, and row reverse for right to left. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.